You wake up. You are a warrior. All you do is train, train, and then train. And to be what? To be in peak physical condition. To be prepared. To be at the top of your game. That was before. Now, what do you do? You wake up and scroll to Instagram. You perform the death scroll on TikTok. You go to the hub before breakfast. You play video games all day. You train to be distracted. You train to be alone. Tell me, which man do you want to be more? Which man strikes fear in his enemy? Which man commands respect? Which man has a beautiful family? If you want to be more like the warrior, keep watching. But if you want to stay a skinny, low testosterone, pimply, bumbling idiot, click off this video right now. Everybody talks about testosterone these days. You'll hear half of the YouTubers on this platform saying men these days are weak. They don't have high testosterone. Our ancestors were so much stronger. There's a reason they say all these things. It's because it's true. Men are weak. Luckily, I know exactly how to increase your testosterone. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step method on how to go from here to here very fast. Let's start about what is testosterone? What does it actually do? You, the listener, you've probably heard the term anabolic steroids. But that's what bodybuilders take right? While yes, typically anabolic steroids refers to what bodybuilders are taking, natural testosterone or endogenous testosterone, meaning produced from within, originating from within, is an anabolic androgenic steroid or anabolic steroid for short. Testosterone is essential for muscle growth, bone density, muscle strength, sperm production, red blood cell production, libido, or your sex drive, your mood regulation and mental health, or as I like to say, your mental fitness, your focus and your memory, your confidence levels, your motivation. Testosterone covers a wide array of functions in the body. So how is it produced then? Because it's not as simple as you may think. The balls just don't produce testosterone. There's a cascading effect and it actually starts up here in the brain. When your hypothalamus signals to produce gonadotropin releasing hormone. Gonad, balls, release testosterone. So the brain signals to start the production of testosterone. Hmm, interesting. Now, when is GnRH secretion at its highest, at its peak? Because if GnRH is at its highest, testosterone will follow. It's highest during the deepest part of your sleep and during the early morning hours of the day. Now you've probably heard all of these people online, you've heard Andrew Huberman, all the other fitness gurus who follow his advice, say get your morning sunlight. And they're 100% right. Because it signals to your brain, it is the morning. It is the start of the day. And your GNRH production will peak. Now if you wake up, and it's 2 p.m., you've missed that window where you can produce peak testosterone. Let's talk about the symptoms of low testosterone. What are they? What does it do? You remember that list I gave you two minutes ago? Just add shitty in front of all of those, and those are the symptoms. Shitty muscle growth, shitty bone density, shitty hypertrophy, shitty strength, Shitty sex drive, shitty sperm production, 
shitty mental health, the list goes on. Does it make sense? So how do we increase our testosterone to be at the level of our ancestors? To be at the level of the warrior? I've already given you two. Get better sleep, get morning sunlight. GNRH production is highest during deep sleep and in the early morning hours. Let's give you a few more. Now, the supplement industry is filled with bullshit. There's so many things you can take and it is very confusing for those who haven't put in the hours to educate themselves. But here are three minerals that you can take that are going to naturally increase your testosterone production, starting with magnesium glycinate and zinc. Those two are a pair because a lot of their functions build on each other. If you take magnesium glycinate before bed, it will help you fall into a deeper sleep quicker. Now I'm sure you can guess what the benefits of getting into a deeper sleep faster are. On top of that, magnesium has been shown to increase your stress tolerance, enhance your metabolism, amplify the effects of serotonin, and increase the production of endogenous antidepressants in the brain. Insane. Now the last one and the most important is that magnesium supplementation increases the bioavailability of testosterone. Let me explain what that means. Now there's total testosterone and there's free testosterone. Your body may have a lot of total testosterone, but the stuff that gets used, the stuff that gets used for your benefit is free testosterone, the stuff that isn't bound to another molecule. So magnesium supplementation takes more of this total testosterone and converts it to free. It's pretty cool. All right, next mineral, boron. What the fuck is that? Boron has a ton of awesome effects. Increased wound healing. It increases the production of vitamin D. It's been an effective anti-inflammatory for those with arthritis. And best of all, remember we have total and free. It increases the production of total testosterone and increases the conversion from total to free. So you're getting an increase in both camps. Pretty good. All right. The last one, it's a gimme. It makes sense. You know this, I know this, it's obvious but most people don't do it. And why don't they do it? Because it's hard. So what is it? It's do hard things. Do hard things and your body will respond. Lift heavy weights, exercise the biggest muscles in your body. What is the muscle group that everyone hates the most? Legs. Everyone who doesn't hit legs hates legs. Let me tell you, Hit legs and your body will respond. Your testosterone will go up. Run long distances, sprint short distances, carry heavy things. It's not that hard, guys. It's pretty simple. You just gotta do it. You just have to do it. Pretty much, if I needed to summarize this last set, do hard shit and become a dog. Because not only does it strengthen the mind, you're gonna produce way more testosterone. And not to mention IGF-1 and HGH, which I haven't even touched on in this video.